Hi, my name's Paul Nyman, and I've been recruiting for the last 25 years. During that period of time, I've worked within large global organisations as an internal recruiter, putting together global recruitment programmes, whilst at the same time, for the last 20 years or so, I've managed my own, re own recruitment business, where I've interviewed somewhere in the region of around 25,000 people. So I've sat in interviews in an internal business and I've also managed identifying lots of individuals who are right for a business. In this session, what we're going to talk about is in the killer questions section, we're going to talk about what makes you the right person for the role. It's how to answer that killer question, what makes you right for the role? I'm going to break it down in terms of the amount of time that you're going to spend answering that question, the research that you need to do, how to structure your answer, and what you need to reiterate in the summary at the end of the answer to your question. Ultimately, what makes you right for this role is the type of question that an interviewer will ask to reinforce their thought process about you and the answers you may have already given. What it may also be is an opportunity for a, an interviewer to understand you because you haven't explained some of the questions that you've answered already. Finally, what it could be is that the interviewer is stuck for questions to ask. Whichever it is, what makes you the right person for this role gives you a brilliant opportunity to sell your skills to them. Before you even go into the interview, the way to answer this question is, is to research in three particular areas. Number one, you've got to know about the person. Number two, you've got to know about the company. And number three, you've got to know about the job description and potentially four previous hires. From a practical perspective, there's loads of information you can find on the internet. A really simple source that many of us use is LinkedIn. From that perspective, just recapping around that, find out about the person you're meeting, find out about their work history, find out about where they worked and find out about the professional bodies and the skill sets that they already have. Also, Consider how long they've been in their roles and how long they've been working in each particular organisation will tell you something about them. Number two, the company. You can also look at the organisation. Look at the rate at which the business has grown in terms of headcount. You can look at stability of people that they um, uh, bring into their business. You can also look at uh, how they've expanded in their markets. And you also want to re research the markets they operate in how they sell, do they sell directly through distribution networks? Do they have uh, multi-manufacturing sites? Are they operating in one country or multi-countries? So that you know a little bit about them. Don't go into a business interview not knowing about them because that will make you look a little bit uh, foolish. And finally, in terms of the job description, the previous hires. Know about the job description and know how long previous hires have been brought into the organisation and how frequently that takes place. Because that will tell you, the previous hire recruitment programme will tell you a little bit about how much pressure the business is under to recruit. So, without further ado, let's look at how to answer that question. What makes you the right person for this role? You want to answer your question based on three areas. Your technical ability, your behavioural ability and your cultural fit. You want to answer the question using principle, the STAR technique, which I've covered off in previous, uh, previous clips. The STAR technique should be answered within about 90 seconds. Keep it to 60 to 90 seconds, and if the interviewer has any more questions, they'll come back to that. So those three aspects, technical, behavioural and cultural. The technical pieces will come from the job description. Technically, why are you right for the role? Use the STAR technique to describe your suitability for the role. The behavioural aspects of you and your position in the role will link to the, the business itself and how you behave in accordance with the role and the requirements. So that might be actually behaviourally what you are. You're a really solid, detailed person. You're actually into looking at the aspects of an organisation. You could be, be uh, expected to dot the I's and cross the T's. You've got a reputa reputation for getting things right first time round. The other part of that is the, the role might be requiring you to move really fast, in which case you want to provide some examples of where you worked in a fast moving environment and how you've been the person that's been solving those issues. It might be you can use a non-work situation. 
So, for example, it might be actually what you do is you could say that you created a new football team or you um, uh, went out on a sponsored fundraising issue uh, to raise money for cancer or whatever the other cause may be and how you motivated and brought together a group of people to uh, bring that in. That will all link ultimately to aspects of the job description. And then finally, that third part, which is about culture. You, can, you want to illustrate, again, using the examples of, through STAR, of culturally how you'll fit into that business. It's about team, it's about integrity, it's about honesty, it's the values of the organisation, which will come from the mission statement that have been alluded to so far. So what makes you right for the role will be linked to the values of the business, to the way and speed at which they work, and your technical abilities to suit that role. I often talk about the three R's, which is about reinforce your competencies, reiterate your fit for the business and ultimately don't be afraid of repeating what you may have said in a previous interview. So reiterate your competencies, reinforce your fit for the business and repeat what you may have said at other interviews. Because from a practical point of view, you may be being interviewed by a different interviewer at any particular point in time, but reinforcing what you've already said is another way of ensuring that the interviewer understands your full competency set. So as a quick recap, what makes you right for the role? It's not a trick question. It's a chance for you to resell your skills, package them in the star structure, present them through knowing the interviewer, the company, the job description, and actually their previous hiring pattern, and then reinforce, reiterate and repeat. There will be other aspects of this in the killer question series that I'm going to put up. So like and subscribe, follow me and I'll be putting up other aspects over, uh, over the next couple of weeks uh, around the Killer Question series. I'll catch up with you soon.